So next hand comes when I raise pocket fours to 20 from under the gun plus one, three callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop is pretty favorable, I'd say. Flop is jack eight four, the old bottom set. Pretty wet flop, lots of draws out there. So I try to size it a little bit bigger and I bet $60. Folds to the button who flat calls. Button is the same player who got us on the previous hand with the pocket tens. So building a little bit of history here. Turn is the ace of spades, so presents a backdoor flush draw. This time I bet $140. The button thinks for a little bit and calls again. The river completes the backdoor flush draw, deuce of spades, but I don't think it's reason enough to stop betting. I don't think it's reason enough to be too cautious. I feel like there's still some value to be had here. I think we can possibly get looked up by an ace queen, ace king of clubs type hand, ace jack perhaps. I think there's still some value to be had here. So I go ahead and put on a bet and I bet $270. Obviously if uh, my opponent decides to raise, it's gonna be a pretty gross situation and not too sure what I'm gonna do there. I might have to find a fold which would kind of suck to have to bet fold uh, a set, which is pretty strong hand. It sucks to have to uh, bet fold a set, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. And my opponent is in the tank thinking about what to do. He starts talking to himself, which is usually a good sign. When, a, when an opponent starts talking to himself and starts verbalizing different hands, etc., it seems like they are not considering a raise, considering uh, whether to call or fold. So my opponent is thinking, and eventually he decides on a call. We show the fours and we're good. So that hand worked out pretty well. Uh, pretty happy with my line and my, uh, I guess my sizings in that hand worked out okay. Normally when an opponent tank calls versus a snap call, it seems like we, we maxed out the value there. So that hand worked out.